a lot of times pressure will come this way so the hand of the Lord can move you this way and where you can be abbreviated, exalted, highlighted, uplifted in the pattern of his operation, revealing the way of his spirit, showing you the eyewitness account of Jesus Christ. As I grow, as you grow, the more amount of material, spiritual material, you gonna carry. And I'm traveling right now. One thing can be a dislike with a little bit of information, a little bit of regulation, a little bit of God, the Lord revealing a little bit of information and insight and shining a little bit of light onto it, it can spread and become a triple like. And now that same spot you didn't drive to that you avoided in your mind because you thought there was another route, which possibly there could be, because the Lord will take you to this route so you can get to that route and then he'll take you back home to a place you have previously visited and it'll cause you to experience maximum glory in that palace, in that place. And so what I love about driving on the earth, it's teaching me navigation. There are two words that I caught in the wind today as I was walking. You got to catch the voice of the wind. Too many times we are devoted to God, but in isolation, isolated from our money, isolated from our power, isolated from our government. So we claim that we're in Christ, but through wisdom, we don't necessarily operate according to his rulership. So we say we're in, but there's many places we're out. So those completion, because when you're in his authority, when you're in his word, you're going to be living in spheres of completion and you're going to be daily loaded with just revelation and wisdom. You're going to constantly feel his power and his presence pushing you. You're going to constantly reel in blessings, reel in money, reel in diamonds, reel in ships. You're going to constantly be in a new level of quest and voyages and seeking and exploration and you're going to know how to revisit a past memory to get a new experience to lead to a greater outcome of your now. I want to personally testify, the job I have now, I'm making way more money, working way less. And I had a dream, and as I was on the register, there was an angel but see, that was one part of the dream. As I spoke the dream to another individual, the angel became bigger. As if two angels came into one. And this angel was at least 11, 12 feet tall. And the light that surrounded him, because I can worship Jesus all day by myself, but when I find another individual, see, too many people are closed off in God. They're not open. They go to their job. We're not allowed to talk about Jesus here. We can't talk about the things of God here. They go here. We can't talk about God when we go to the restaurants. So they're lessening and lessening and lessening because your power is talking about God. If you would just start today talking more about God, you would feel more power. You would feel more energy. You would have more success automatically. Because it's all in speaking about him that releases him. Speaking about the Lord is like going into the sunshine, not staying locked in your house, going into the sunshine. And I'm excited about what he is going to say. You know, he says something and then he does something. So when I say what he's talking about, he going to do 
what I'm saying in my life and in your life. So anytime you talk about the vision you had, it occurs. See, God will give you that dream, but when you speak it, it will manifest. And then you will experience, not just I had a dream, you will experience the reality of the dream. And then it's not just a dream for you to feel aha good. There's a mission behind it. There's an angel behind it. There's a voyage behind it. There's a scroll behind it. There's because God gives you a vision, but then he gives you an objective. And then there are degrees of the seed formula of the vision that was given to you. It feels good to be in newness. You know what I love about my Heavenly Father? Not when I want something, but when I truly have a desire in my heart, He will forcefully make it happen. And so you have to see what you're traveling around. If you want more sun, I can go to a park. I can take a walk here. I can do this here. So there are a variation of ways you can get the light. But it has to be like the seraphim surround God. Your conscience has to learn to surround a focus, an objective, a power. Whether it's the hand of God, the face of God, the enhancement you desire. You must see that and your movement must circulate that focus, that throne. Whatever you focus in, not on, becomes the throne. And that's where the conscience will sit. And it won't base what's good and right and wrong. It'll be in accordance to the agreements and your belief systems that you have developed throughout your life. And this is how you can tap in and perceive the spirit realm. This is how you can locate the Heavenly Father and see His voice in Christ. This is how you just get divine revelation. This is how you just stay in an open heaven, an open portal in your mind, in the mind of Christ. This is how you just constantly pull on different degrees of just revelation and structures of God's presence and power and glory and splendor and majesty just come forth. Because it's a it's a capturing power. It's a beholding power. It's a withdraw power, you know. So you withdraw from what you invest in. If you invest in knowledge and wisdom, you're going to make withdrawals off that. You know what I'm saying? If I'm looking this way and I focus... I concentrate, I'm in yielded still. See, there's different structures of stillness. Stillness is a supreme power that will cause your life. You ever wonder why athletes perform the way they do? Stillness. Stillness slows the power. It captures the speed of light. It, in that silence, it opens you up to the voice of the majesty of God. So focus, concentration, and stillness. When you learn to exercise that in the eye, which is the uni unified mind of the I am, you'll begin to perform at optimal levels. You'll begin to speak at upgraded avalanches, sapphire rocks, sprinkled diamonds on the holy cake of the wedding of the lamb. Okay. Because you learn how to tap into things in life. If you're watching a YouTube video, excuse me, I'm sorry. It's my human. Hopefully in heaven we don't burp. Or hopefully in heaven... When we drink stuff, it's just like a waterfall because we're water. So the river of life, it just like, it just, when we drink stuff, it just becomes a liquid substance. So our flesh doesn't burp, right? But there is a palace that you can go to. Before the Lord would have me in my room, like every time I've been on a fast or as I've matured, God would allow me 
to do something where I would get the whole and the all. But then he would shift it and I'll be like, wait a minute, on this fast, he didn't tell me to do all this. He told me to let go of all of this. And then on this fast, he told me to keep this, but now bring this back into perspective. And I didn't understand it, but what it's doing, it's causing my mind to open. And this bridge of God, this lever of God, this key of God, this, mm, that's, this is good stuff after the Holy Ghost. This, um, this path of God, see, when you speak it, you start to feel it. And that's your experience, you know. What I love about faith, see, the proof of God, if you want it on a physical level or on a level where anybody, you feel it. But look, so you get the, you, so you get the key, which unlocks the map. See, you just were looking for the treasure. You're just looking for the money. You're just looking for the, don't, see, money's here, okay? We want money in life. All of us do. If you say you don't, then I don't want to say you're lying. You're just trying to be godly, but not truly being God in Lee. Okay. Now, in the league of the notion is the timing of the sphere. Now, listen, you got to you got to study quotes. Don't be religious. Well, that's Alexander that he's dem no, no, no. There's this YouTube channel I watch and he does all these quote videos of the greatest and the philosophers of all time. And the, and the, the quotes are so powerful. But the power of the ph philosophical quote is the, philo the philosophical stone, the philosophical key, which is a combination of the mind and the inertia and the heart basing off belief, but not religion. So it goes off. See, what I love about the philosophers, they were going off the imagination of the eye, not off a religious set of systems and symbols of belief patterns in a religion. So there's power. In philosophy. Now, if you're spiritual, you're going to get that. If you're religious, that's not Jesus. That's the devil. No. Okay. Remember, everything that God created in design was good. Okay. When you go back to the Holy Spirit and the origins, I don't, I shouldn't have to talk about this. We're, we're not on sixth grade anymore. We're not on the elementary. Look, I like how the Bible says the elementary principles. You got to catch that. Not just the elementary of Christ. No, the elementary principles. Okay. So when you know the principles of God in life, you'll meet the principle and you will graduate with, see some people got to, you know how they had to spend 40 years in the wilderness? Some people spend 40 years in the first grade of God. <laughs> some people spend 15 years in the second grade of God. But you'll be on a tier four. Okay, let's keep going now. So if you can see the map, like if, if, they, if they create a video game and they have the layout, it's called the layout. Everything is, which is the unfolding of the scroll. Everything is the layout, how they're going to design the dungeon, the boss fights. Why is the boss fight at this level? Why is this level here? This connects to here. You get this upgrade here. And so when you understand the layout, okay, like the, when you get this type of revelation and you can explain it, see, when you see, you get revelation and vision, but when you can explain it in a way where anybody can understand, that's not just getting a vision from God. That's not just getting some knowledge. That's a level of understanding where you can break it down and base it and speak it and declare it in ways where people can catch it. That's called divine understanding. And the Bible says, with all thy getting, not with all thy wanting. And I like to I like to combine this scripture with whatever you put your hands on will prosper. So you got to see your tongue as hands, your mind as hands, because now you're seeing according to his word, not according to your mind. Well, the, the, well these are only my hands. No, now you're manifesting the word of God in your mind. You just put the scripture and your thoughts and your tongue and your mind and your eye and your pupil and your soul and your foot and your toe and your socks and all that. Okay. So you got to learn to put the scripture on you. You got to learn to clothe yourself in the word of God. And then you take all these Bible verses and you bring them like this and say, I am prosperity. I am fulfillment. You're no longer living from a system of wanting. I, I really... 
felt and heard this in my spirit. I hate hardworking, minimum wage paying jobs. You know, I believe God is in heaven and he sees, he'll put you to the wilderness. He'll cause you to be crucified. He'll put you to some suffering. But I believe, see, don't go off fear. Go off, I believe. Then you'll get the I am. Not, oh, uh, well, they might get... Okay, anyway. We done already talked about that. We're going to give you fresh manna. I love Perry Stone. I need you I need you to go to YouTube. And you got to learn how to promote other men of God. Not you know. I, I know a lot of Christians, they always hate none other men of God. Or he, talk, he don't talk about the end times. He blah, blah, blah. Like, you better. That's foolish. You're going to go to hell. Okay? Don't hate on other men of God, please. Okay, now listen. I believe God sees what people are worth and their value and what they should be getting paid with, not just money, but with honor. Increase. See, if you're a manager and you have the power to promote people, but you go based off your preferences and not off the actual results. You're going to get dealt with in life. You see, God will use life to deal with you. He'll allow circumstances to deal with you. So I just feel in my spirit like people, because I've worked at hard, hard, hard jobs getting paid little. And one thing that radically transformed, I have a, and now that I have a job, I'm work, it's the easiest job I ever had in life and I'm making double pay. My income is triple. I could go buy an apartment right now if I wanted to. But what I'm saying, and I'm going to, and this is like a key, you need to pay people what they're worth in honor and value and treasuring them and adoring them and complimenting them and using the word of God to exalt them and blessing them and comforting them and being willing to carry their burdens. So when you see a valuable aspect or you see a valuable ratio, you better learn how to give that value what that value is worth. And this will connect you to the divinity of prosperity of Yahweh, of Jehovah, of the Lord. And this will and this will bring you a golden like you ever heard of golden electricity? Well, in the spirit, you got it. You got electricity, which looks blue or looks purple because it's coming from the co color source of God, which is white and holy but you're only seeing it from your pupil and the reflection of the sky when the moon and the connection but there's there's golden electricity okay these are these are the utterances of the voice you mean you know how you know how in the bible tells you he says they utter things i'm not permitted to speak but if you go there's a secret if you go past where he said i'm not permitted to speak he tells you what they said in the form of what they said, in the language, it's called utterances. Yeah, you thought I didn't know my Bible. You thought, you thought, okay. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I learned a secret about God's grace. I, okay, now listen. I am going to buy a scarf. It's going to have scriptures all over it because I got to, I got to, you know what I'm saying? I got to look a little... I got to enhance myself for Jesus. Jesus is my master. Jesus is my king. Jesus fighting all the devils in the... Jesus is my king. Okay. Jesus is my king. Jesus is my king. We just got a breakthrough. Okay. The more you learn about getting breakthroughs in Christ... The more breakthroughs will automatically, occur. I believe the occurrence of God's throne regulates because it talks about in the scripture how he created this by wisdom, how he established this by understanding. So I believe creating something new in your life and understanding is according to what it tells you in the Bible through wisdom and understanding. So when you develop wisdom and understanding, God will be able to create more and establish more order and things glory in your life. Hallelujah. Oh, I love the sun. Where's this? The sun's coming out right on me. It's coming out shining on my soul. Now I feel the worship coming. You know, you know, this ministry is only like 7%. Like I, you know, God gives me all these experiences and all these visions and all these encounters. But 
See, see, I gotta learn how to change how I talk. I was gonna say, but there's a time for them to be released in a way and in a specific category and the moment. Like a lot of times God will wait till there's 15 people around to reveal something. So they all get the revelation, get the knowledge, and they're all saved and touched by Jesus and come to the kingdom. So a lot of times you're waiting in your life because you can't just think, I want prosperity from God. I want, okay, that's cool. But you got to think of the bigger degree. There's a purpose why God showed you that. And he may not even allow you to really go deep in it because he wants to wait the timing where other people are going to receive salvation from what he gave you. life and it will increase the majesty you experience I want you to critique everything in your life if you notice your slippers make too much sound when you go to the refrigerator to get you some Dunkin Donuts some leftover pizza hallelujah then I want you to go to Amazon and buy some slippers some cotton, whatever slippers that won't make no noise. If you notice there's a time when you want privacy and people seem to interrupt it, find a different time in your schedule where nobody will interrupt it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Okay? If you want a place where you can speak but you feel like everybody's staring at you and it makes you feel uncomfortable, change your thought processes. I love when everybody stares at me. I can see but then go to a place where nobody stares at you. Now you just promoted it in your mind. You shifted your mindset and you got what you wanted in your mindset and you shifted that too. That was a double shift and a double portion and a double measure and a double blessing going to hit you. Because it's found within. You don't get upset with God, find within. God, if, if you accepted Jesus and you promoting Christ and the gospel, and it's with everything is within, so you got to find it. When you find it, you know how in the Bible it says, what does it say? It is the glory of God to conceal a matter, but it is the honor of kings to search it. So what does that tell you? You got to search it out. You know what I'm saying? Now, after this video, I feel the Holy Spirit. See, the Holy, one of the ways the Holy Spirit leads me, one of the ways like I, I truly get blessed by God when it's with other people. Not my. I could go on a fire. Oh, I feel, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. I have like I have like new angels with me because I'm always praying to God. I'm telling you, keep praying to God, and whatever you're praying to Him for is go everything. I cannot tell you everything I have prayed to God for. Since the problem, you pray to get. Instead of praying to see, praying to experience. You're always praying to God, well, I didn't get money. Uh, the, the angel didn't give me my paycheck. St okay, I'm not telling you to stop doing that, but I'm telling you a way you can encounter God, a greater dimension of life. Okay, okay. Mm. I got angels with me. I feel good. Thank you, Jesus. I got angels that minister, but I got presence angels that correlate the presence of God. And I have access to them whenever I want because I've upgraded in my speed and my ability to detect. And, you know, as you really serve God, never base it on your performance. Never base it. Never base your relationship and your success and your because the Bible doesn't tell you, well, I'm, I'm not going to accept. I read the Bible. There's no way. Well, I'm not going to accelerate you in my spirit because last week you was kind of, you know, what I'm saying you didn't get a hundred plus. You didn't get a. That's not God. Like if you're in Christ and you want nothing to do but to serve, you gonna you gonna be exalted, you gonna be accelerated, you gonna get promoted, you gonna that's what it's telling you, okay? So don't base what you base things off is gonna be what what literally takes place. And that that and you know how long we hinder God? We hindered God because we were basing our success off not our identity, not what the Bible declares, but what we feel, what we think. And you know, it's a. Uh, it's not punishment because that's how we were programmed from the time of our birth. We were conceived in our mother's womb from sin. In sin, we were brought from our mother's womb into a sinful place. You know what I'm saying? But Jesus. 